All right, let's do something a little bit different uh, today on this video. Let's do a uh, startup video. No, this ain't your average, it's a cold start. No, it's, it's 60 degrees and it's December or 50 degrees, whatever it is. It is not cold outside and we are not going to do a cold start. So. start so I got a, a lawnmower battery hooked up to these jumper cables right here I haven't touched it it's cold I mean this engine will get hot anyway so y'all choose to believe me or not but I actually did put gas in it sorry um, I ain't even bothered to oil it yet but I will screw down a grease cap this Though, so, but before I get ready, everybody's gonna be asking me. This is an air motor. This was uh, used uh, on windmills. Yes, windmills are a myth. They used engines to turn the windmills back then. Um, just kidding. No, they didn't. Um, they used these when there wasn't no wind or whatever. And from what I've heard, um, the manual uh, had, had a little measurement of time and a measurement of fuel you put inside the gas tank. That's the reason why I didn't have a big gas tank because uh, to pump water, you know, they, they pumped it in uh, buckets and barrels and stuff like that. So they didn't use this. This was not an engine that was going to be running all day, uh, even though I do it now, but it was not meant for that. Um, and it's air cooled. So. Um, it could sit out in the weather, it could freeze, whatever, it, it, was, it, it wasn't going to hurt nothing. But, uh, yeah, you, they gave a little time limit of, uh, all right, uh, how many gallons this little bit of gas will pump inside of a bucket or whatever, and you poured it inside there, and you ran it, walked off, came back, and it was full of, uh, full of water, so, um. I'll try to find the uh, year of mine. I've done forgot. I've got so much crap I can't remember. But uh, anyways, but this is an eight-stroke engine, uh, which means it's, it works like a normal engine. And you know, you got the the suckage, the compression, the spark, and then the blowing out part. Okay. Uh, well, this one has four more cycles of nothing so i mean it, it's it's a hit and miss yes does it hit and miss yes and it also if when it's when it is hitting constantly when they're under loads then uh, you're gonna you're gonna suck compression spark blow out and then you got uh suck blow suck blow suck blow and it's cooling it and uh, that's where the eight cycles come from so um, so it sounds like a party to me, but no, that's how they worked. Eight cycle. Um, get the camera down here and show y'all. All right. If y'all can see this, I'm sure you can. Um, this is how it's going to work out here. we got a big giant cam gear. It is twice the size of a normal cam gear, uh, because it is eight strokes instead of four strokes. So, uh. It's an eight to one ratio, or no, that ain't right. Four to one, something like that. No, it, it would be four to one. Four to one ratio on the gear. And uh, our cam is actually odd shaped too, because you know, a camshaft usually only has just one little nubbin on it. It's shaped like this. Well, this one's shaped kind of like this right here. And this little part right here is the only part that's divoted in. And that's gonna let the uh, the uh, exhaust close on that, and then it's gonna hold it open for the rest of the stroke. So right here, we are gonna suck right here, okay? All 
All right. And then, let's see, yeah. And then your compression, your spark. It goes kaboom. And then it blows it out, right? Because right now our uh, exhaust valve is open. And then you got one, two, three, four of nothing. And that's your eight strokes like I was sitting in your belt. But yeah, you got suck, compression, spark, the pew, and then blow it out. And then one, two, three, four of nothing. And then it starts all over again. Eight stroke, I mean, it's, it, it should be called a four stroke with extra turn, two turns of air cooling action, but uh, yeah, nothing really goes on during those last four strokes, but still a pretty cool concept. What are you doing, dog? Someone told me I should have dogs in a video more. Well, they're, here they are. They're, they're here, they're making noise, so they don't mind this old stuff. Um, you know, let's see if we can start it. We got the coil all hooked up. It's a, uh, I don't even know what kind of coil that is. Looks like maybe even a speaker magnet or a speaker coil or something like that. Uh, coils do not matter. Trigger alert. Coils do not matter. Um, I mean, you can run, I mean, you, you, you can run these. You can just jump them across there and then you're fine um, with igniter systems. You can use this. Uh, that, that'll that work just fine as well. Well, that ain't no good. But what I'm saying is that them windings there, it'll increase the voltage uh, going through it. Inductance, I think is what it's called. But um, yeah, it makes it jump a gap. And that's all we need when you have an igniter but what i'm gonna do is uh just like any hit and miss engine i'll open that about quarter turn but with any hit and miss engine you're gonna find where it sucks gas at i think i've done past it but you want to prime it first Until you get a little bit of gas on your finger. Woo, boy. She'll run now. Did you feel that? <laughs> well, here goes nothing. It should just turn over once and then start right up. What is it, honey? That's very... It could just have been a stubborn, but I don't know, it's just this thing usually runs really good. I had it at Boonville, Indiana, uh, and it ran the entire weekend, never shut off or nothing other than it walking away from the battery. Crazy dog. Oh my God. Well, I'm trying to get this thing. Ooh. 
Now, I want y'all to notice how this thing is running. Um, it never really latches out like a hit and miss does in, in this part. Um, but notice how it hits and then it just spins and then it hits and then it spins. This is not the hit and miss action. This is the eight cycle action. Because if it was a normal four stroke, that thing would just be going pop, 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 pop. Whereas this one's going boom, 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 and not latching out. Now, that is the concept of the eight cycle. And this is what they do under a load. Or when it's off, like uh, when the timing's off just like this. And I'm an idiot. But... I'm about to fix that. Um, these things are really finicky. And um, Once it warms up, it'll start just running a better. little really hair of the time being, timing being off will cause these things to do this. But this right here is the eight cycle action. That's a good hit. adjusted it is now sparking top dead center is right there perfect so we'll give her another go around here Put that bad boy on there I'm gonna spin her over and see what she does quarter turn on that Hard hit. Hard hit. Oh yeah. Hard hit. Oh yeah. That's how it's supposed to run. Good deal. People talk a lot of trash about these engines, but they are. Uh, you gotta be. Precise with everything. You gotta finesse them. <laughs> anyway, here it is. This chattering right here. I'm gonna try to do away with it. But that wheel right there, it slides over and hits the gun. Like that, it slides through the weight that's out here. Anyways, when I bought it, I knew it ran good. He had it at uh, Kirk uh, Mitchell's show, and it ran every time he showed it to somebody. And then so I pondered on it. It's probably been a month before I finally decided, yeah, I was going to buy it. Uh, but when I bought it, dude, this thing would not run for nothing. Shop Dog Sam, everybody looked at it. And... Uh, I, uh, nobody could figure out what's wrong with it. Anyway, 
it wound up being that. I took it home and noticed every one of these set screws were loose. And I set it back right. Of course, when you adjust that gear mesh, it gets the intake and the uh, ignition all out of whack. I'm pretty sure this is all homemade as well. But I've got to say, they did a real good job at it. Homemade ignition, I think. Pretty sure that muffler's original though. But and then this thing right here, I don't know if this is original or what. This is the heavy duty guard on it, or the uh, heavy duty rocker on it. Light duty ones are just uh, one little piece right there, and it came out down through there. And there's the serial <laughs> lettering. It's weird. These are my dumb. I'll put up a card on that. Yeah, there it is. Air motors. You don't see many of them, but it seems like when you do, whenever I bring this to a show, there's usually about six or... No, I ain't gonna say six or seven. At least about two more at that same show, so... it's I've never seen them before. And then once I start getting this thing, they're coming out of the woodwork and... Someone on YouTube actually saw it and said, uh, what is this thing? I don't know why he didn't ask me. I'm pretty sure I was in the video too, but uh, one of my friends sent it to me. I was like, yeah, it's a thing of air motor. It's mine. Well, it's got the oil wicking in there. Probably needs oil. I wanna say that's probably the original gas tank too. Cap it, That's like a Coleman propane bottle. Yeah. And then, of course, I made the, uh, the needle for the fuel adjustment. Um, well, there it is. I'll shut up and give a little walk around around this thing. here to work the uh, well pump have a little nub on it go up and down like that someone's gonna say you Got some oil in. It's been oiled. It's it's all right. It's not gonna it's not gonna blow up like these two right here. Look at them awful dogs. It's a pretty dang cool engine, I've got to say. So 
Oh, there she is. There's our, uh, there's our cold start. No, this is our uh, the winter start on this old uh, air motor. But uh, I want to say thank you to the guy that sold it to me because I've always wanted one. Of course, uh, you yourself knew how, how hard I am to make a deal with because I am cheap. <laughs> but when I say something, I mean it. And uh, I've, I've really enjoyed it. Um, every show I've taken it to since I've uh, gotten her going good, never, never let me down. I'm gonna have to cut it out, dog. Come here. But, yeah, really enjoyed it. Been a cool motor. Every show I take it to, um, people, I have people all over the place. Uh, wow, is that an air motor? Or what the heck is that thing? You don't see them or whatever. And uh, they're, they're out there, but, you know, this one ain't nothing special. It ain't got the dog bone governor. It's got the little weight, and it's homemade, too, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, because I think the original ones are just a little ball. Um... But it's a heck of a dang motor. It's cool. Been wanting to make this video for a while. And I want to say I appreciate the people that uh, uh, watch the videos. Maybe I'll make something out of myself uh, in the future. Maybe I'll become a, a janitor. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I know there ain't too many videos of the air motor that really go in depth and shows what it means to be an eight cycle motor or whatever the difference in that and hitting this. And, uh, but I'm gonna try to do a lot of my engines like this, make a uh, startup video just because like there ain't very many videos on YouTube of uh, them motors there like the later Nelson Brother engines. God, these dogs are nuts. But, um, yeah, I want to try to do a video talking about the difference in between a throttle govern and a uh, hit and miss. Because uh, I have one identical to this, but it's hit and miss. But, from what I understand, I'm pretty sure every motor only offered these and uh, hit and miss. Could be wrong. They made some big giant ones with the flues on top of them, or flutes, whatever the heck they're called. Uh, try to put a picture on that as well. Those are really rare. These are kind of hard to come by, but like I said, once you get one, start bringing it to shows that come out of the woodwork. And the bigger ones, now them are them are high dollar. I'm too poor for those, uh, of course. But uh, them are hard to come by. Them are pretty dang cool motors. You rarely ever get to see these uh, out in the public, the, the big ones. And uh, try to find one on uh, on uh, on uh, Facebook or the internet or something. But Mr. Ram uh if you're watching this, uh, I posted a uh, ad on the Hit and Miss Collectors group on Facebook, and uh, of course. There was some grinders. I didn't know what in the world the, the uh, prices on them was or anything, but then he just went nuts and, well, you need to put prices on that for sale that. I was like, well, why don't you help me out and uh, price it, schmuck? And boy, he went nuts, blocked me. So uh, here I am. Um, I don't know, Randy. Why don't you, uh, I don't know, quit being sensitive, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, we're getting uh, out of that rant. Uh, got a little carried away. <laughs> Probably going to have to crop some of that out. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank you for watching this. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. This is the air motor. Uh, I'm going to start trying to uh, do the rest of these engines. I've got a couple other kind of uncommon things inside of here. Um, and a couple little informational video potential. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.